and welcome to Sports Rambling. I am your host, Brian Belsito. Today is October the 3rd. It is a beautiful Saturday here in Dewey, Arizona, and I am just stepping in here for another quick update on where we are in the sports world, and then we will hit you at the end of this episode with a, another segment of Honey Hold My Wallet, where I try to see if I can win some NFL parlay bets. So, Currently in the sports world, um, we've got the NBA Finals where the Los Angeles Lakers look to be in complete control. They blew the Miami Heat out in Game 1. They handled them pretty easily in Game 2, even though uh, Miami was without um, Bam Adebayo and Goran Dragic. They stayed in it a little bit, but in the end, the Lakers are just too much. I will be surprised if uh, Miami is able to take one of the remaining two games or the, the next two games, which would uh, result in a sweep if the Lakers take both of those. So uh, we got that going on. Um, we've also got uh, baseball has made it through its wild card round. A um, couple upsets here and there. Looking forward to in the National League, we will be having the San Diego Padres who took care of the St. Louis Cardinals in the division series they will be taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers who took care of the Milwaukee Brewers. On the other side the upstart Florida Marlins who took out the Chicago Cubs will be taking on the Atlanta Braves. The Atlanta Braves are my one remaining hope for the World Series as I picked a Twins Braves World Series. So I think both of those series in the National League look like they will be pretty good. Over in the American League, you have the New York Yankees who took care of business against the Cleveland Indians. The Yankees will be matching up with their division rival, the Tampa Bay Rays. The Rays took care of the Toronto Blue Jays. And on the other side, you will have an interesting matchup as we've got the Houston Astros, everybody's villains going into this season because of the trash can issue and the sign stealing. So they will be taking on the Oakland A's. The A's beat the White Sox and the Astros took care of business against the Minnesota Twins. The reason why this series will be interesting is the Houston Astros will be looking to, I don't know, get a little revenge against their ex pitcher Mike Fires, who is one of the A's starters. He is the guy who blew the whistle on them. So looking forward to the next round of the Major League Baseball playoffs, which will be starting up in the early part of this coming week. So now um, just a real quick update on my Denver Broncos. They were victorious finally on Monday night. They were able to outlast the New York Jets in New York. It was a pretty ugly game between two 0-3 teams. Um, Brett Rippon, our third-string quarterback, came in and he threw three picks, but he also threw three touchdowns. He was able to bring them back in the last few minutes, so the Broncos got their first win of the season. I will be doing a Broncos update where we'll cover more of this game um, in the early part of uh, next week. So that's where we are right now. Excuse me, I said Monday Night Football. They won on Thursday Night Football to kick off week four. So here we are in week four. Um, Monday Night Football was actually the Chiefs and the Ravens. The Chiefs took care of business. They look strong as usual, so um, yeah, I don't know when somebody's going to take them out. Uh, speaking of the Chiefs, this morning we woke up to the news that their game would possibly be canceled, and as the, as the day progressed, their game was canceled. Uh, Cam Newton of the New England Patriots, it was supposed to be Chiefs-Patriots this weekend, um, Cam Newton has tested positive for COVID-19, so we're going to throw some prayers out to him, hope he uh, recovers quickly from that, um, but that got their game postponed. It's looking like it might be Tuesday night football, but if more guys start to test positive over the next couple days, they may uh, push it even further back. I saw a suggestion today, somebody said that the NFL should add a week 18 to their schedule and leave it open to put games to the back end of the schedule as they get more 
postponements if this continues to happen. There's a lot of speculation between myself and my friends that we may not even see the NFL season going on much longer if this stuff continues with the COVID-19. I would say I think they're going to be a little bit stubborn and continue to push to complete the season, but we'll see where that goes. So as of right now on the Honey Hold My Wallet segment that I've been doing every week, last week I went 3-1. and one. That puts my season record at 7-5-1 and one against the spread. With that one loss last, loss last week, that meant I did not win my bet. So, um, as you guys all know, you got to win all four games or all five games, no matter how many you pick. So, um, last week, I lost on the Titans giving three to Minnesota. They ended up winning by one point. So, I, I technically, I picked the winner but lost on the points. I was uh, victorious with the Niners over the Giants the Steelers over the Texans, and the Packers over the New Orleans Saints. So 3-1 and one brings me to 7-5-1 and one on the season. I've lost $350 of the $2,000 that I started with. So um, it's a good thing that Darcy is holding my wallet <laughs> because uh, we'd be down to $1,650 if this was real money. But as I have stated, this is funny money. This is Monopoly money or the Game of Life money. So we're just going to keep playing around with it. We are going to go with a four-team parlay this week for $100. If I hit these four games, I will have won $1,260 on this week's games. So the four games I'm picking this week, I'm going with the Pack again. The Green Bay Packers at home, Monday Night Football against the Atlanta Falcons. The Packers are giving seven. I will give the Falcons seven, and we'll see where that goes. The Falcons usually own the Packers or have in recent years played really well against the Packers, but I think that this Packers team is strong, and the Falcons have uh, really kind of choked away a bunch of big leads, and I think in the end Aaron Rodgers will take care of business. Um, second game. The Seattle Seahawks, I will take the Seahawks laying five and a half points at Miami. I just think Seattle, even without their uh, all-pro safety, Jamal Adams, I think the Seahawks will be too strong for Ryan Fitzpatrick and company. Russell Wilson is playing amazing football, so I'll give the five and a half points and take the Seahawks. We've got the Cardinals giving three at Carolina. Without Christian McCaffrey, I don't think that Carolina will be able to uh, to win that ball game. So I will give the three and take the Cardinals on the road. Kyler Murray looking strong so far this year, so give me the Cardinals and the minus three. Um, and then my last one, I will take the Bears plus three against the Colts in Indianapolis. Uh, Nick Foles. Looks to be in command of that offense. He led a comeback last week when Mitchell Trubisky got benched. Nick Foles is the ultimate competitor as a backup quarterback. We've seen him do this with the Eagles where he takes the reins and continues on. You know, he won a Super Bowl uh, coming in for the injured Carson Wentz. So I think he will continue to play well for the Bears, and I think they will take that. Um, yeah, they might not win, but I think they'll keep it close against the Colts on the road. I'll take those three points. So again, that's the Packers laying seven, the Seahawks laying five and a half, the Cardinals laying three, and the Bears getting three. That's my four picks, 100 bucks on the line of my funny money, and if I win all four of those games, I will win $1,260. So there you have it, folks. Quick sports update, quick Honey, hold my wallet segment. And that's it for tonight. Everybody have a good Saturday night. Enjoy the football games tomorrow. And I will be checking in throughout the week on the sports world and everything else that we've got going on. So thank you very much. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for coming and watching Sports Rambling. I am your host, Brian Belsito. You have a great Saturday night. Thank you.